Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Quiz at Sedrak Willem van der Ranya in Sid Meier's Civilization 5. I'm still Fargal. I'm still here with Alkadir. Hello. Hello. And um, we have just generated a great scientist who I think I will put down here on this tile because... This is within range of Petra. I mean, if yeah. you... So that desert tile, yeah, one food, one hammer extra science. Also, Being side note, around. folks, sorry, it's been a few days since our last recording session. I am sorry if I yawn a lot in this recording. I just got off a long day of work. Yeah, you, you don't need to tell them that. Well, I do in case I yawn a lot. No. And if I start forgetting That's stuff that we did previously. We'll get to that when we come to. No, let's okay. see here. Uh, uh, here building bo up Boston to be better than anything that... Uh, Washington could do. Yes, Boston. We're we're going to get the university in it, so these jungle tiles that we have in range will actually give us much. Now, for sadly, we're going to have to get rid of it to get the coal here. But you're still going to keep what three jungle tiles? That's better yeah. than the AI who'd probably chop them down. Actually, I could buy one more, but four I mean, eight jungle tiles. It's still a hill. It's a hill. Normally, you would remove that, but it's just I I wouldn't remove that. I like two science more, and I like four production. Well, uh, Boston doesn't have a huge amount of production. It's got polders. Even with even polders aren't a huge amount of production. It's not your capital city. It doesn't matter that much. Yes, now I'm going to... Oh, I just noticed you are working a merchant that I don't want you to be working. No, I'm going to try and speed things up a little bit here. By the university there. Workshop, because we need a workshop. As a workshops are a prerequisite for factories. If we want to get factories going, we have to have workshops first. Factory is one of the most important buildings in the game, I'll, which is saying something, considering that you know every single science building are like the most important buildings in the game. Yeah, fact factories. Um, they are the only build. No, it the um. There's only two things in the game that require coal. Factories and ironclads. And uh, generally you'd be using your coal for factories. Unless you have like 500 of it. Yeah. It's feast or famine. Coal, coal is very feast or famine. The good thing though is with coal, um, you don't get if you're, as long as you have the coal, you can build the factory. If you lose the coal again afterwards, you don't lose the factory or its bonuses, as opposed to if you have ironclads, which will take a very large combat penalty if you lose access to coal. Yeah, they just start burning wood. Or orphans, it is the industrial era. Mm -hmm, possibly. Possibly. Because you're a writer born, having more stickings. You just wait. You're just piling up more great artists than you have room for. Because we're not getting enough culture from him to be worth uh, having him write the physical readers. It'll be a lot better if we just, once we get an amphitheater, you know. Uh, no. We, you two have to have fun over there on the other side of the continent. Your great wall. We had discussed last time whether it would be worth annexing Palenque or not, and we decided against it. Mostly because it'd be a hassle. It really wouldn't give us that much because he doesn't have very many flood plains. He has a few, but we just we decided it'd be better to uh, not increase our science costs. Well, yeah, yeah, it would create increase your science costs, and as I said, not enough holders to make it worth it. Now, if look, it looked like Hiawatha had a few over there. Let's see, deals to. Ethiopia, Napoleon. Yes. So, let's see. Yeah, it looked like Hiawatha had a few polders we could steal, but he's not our neighbor. We'd have to go through the Inca lands to get to him. No, we could, we could, um, Montreal and Grand River we could capture. Yeah, that's true. And, uh, we could do it quite easily, because those are 25 strength and we have access to sea beggars. 
But yeah. going <laughs> further, going further, uh, Hiawatha has the Great Wall and almost certainly does not have dynamite yet. One dynamite left. Yeah. So it, it's um, yeah. kind of not worth it. Right now, you need a hundred and five gold. If I give you a hundred and five gold bonus. Alice Lasse will sign a research Ooh, agreement with us. Oh, wait, no, we have to pay it because we're a year ahead of it. But still, a research agreement is a research agreement and it's very worth it. Yeah. No. At first, you were a friend to liberty. How much is he hate you? Not enough to. Yeah, be and we don't have nearly enough to do it with uh, Washington. Proceed. And uh, we we have a declar who we I will remind you we have a declaration of friendship with despite. Well, he at least si openly likes us. Taking two cities from him, the uh, reason for this is because he um. We spread our religion to him, and well, yes. he likes us because of that. But if we can put together enough money to finance it, we will uh, sign another research agreement with him. Because why not? Research agreements are always good. There is no downside to them. I mean, yes, no. the AI gets a bonus too, but... We, uh, I forgot. Where do I... Ch it's in the... the plum oh, we have a... Diplomacy over you. Global politics, Renaissance era. So we also need enough money to cover the cost, the extra cost for the research agreements. So. Oh yes, because research agreements go up uh, every era you go through, and they go up for both partners if someone's a higher era. So the AI asks uh, the player if the player's at a higher era to co cover the costs. Yeah. Uh, we have a new spy. I don't think it's worth trying to steal anything given our situation. I will just send him to Jerusalem. Try and have us. Um, no, no, sorry, not Jerusalem. Battle city. Send him to Battle city. Maintain our ally status with them. Increase the royal. The a um the amount our influence with them ticks down is about the same as if you have a spy there. Uh, the amount that they having a spy there rigging the elections keeps it going up. <laughs> if I wasn't about to spend my money on research agreements, proceed. I would get them back as our allies, but All right. research agreements are Stop listening. far more important. We're past the point where uh, faith is that incredibly important anyways. Right now it's nice to build up to build by uh, great people later. But we've got our religion and we've got it spread, so... Fine, Krakatoa. Oh, surprising. Look at that. It's actually workable. It's theoretically workable. Not even theoretically, definitely. It's in three well, dials. I mean, if you really want to settle it. No. Seat. <laughs> but it's workable, which is a surprise for Krakatoa. It's like the least likely to be worked wonder, because it always has to be an ocean. Now, let's see. Do any of the city-states want a trade route for influence? They do not. So I think this time we'll send it to Grand River for the extra money. See now, there's an extra gold we could get here in Utrecht, and our borders aren't going to grow there anytime soon because it's desert hills. So we'll just buy that. Yeah, because it's a nice, valuable tile. Yeah, get an observatory. We'll just um, once we get the money up, it will actually be a lot faster to just buy the third factory that we need for an ideology, rather than. Um, well, yeah, because factories are, I'm pretty sure, intentionally a very hammer. Uh, expensive building. Yeah. And um, ideologies are sort of um, 
late game. Religion. They're not. They're not social policy trees, but they are um, very like social policy. You buy uh, bits for them with culture, etc. It's sort of a mixture between a social policy thing and a high level religion. Where are you? Uh... You know what? I actually I would rather have traders with city states rather than cultural heritage sites. So I will vote against Hiawatha traders. Yeah. Because city states can have some very good trade routes in them. Mm-hmm. I really hate that the AI loves doing that. Mm-hmm. All right. So they but yeah, that. ideologies are kind of a mega uh, cultural policy branch tree block thing in the UI. So we'll get no, into we, them we in a bit more in a bit yeah. when we actually have the screen to look at. Yeah, no, looking at it, just checking, we can just, yes, we definitely can't get that tile. That is the last of our polders. That's the last one. And we have a very pretty uh, uh, flood valley. Yeah. We uh, we can't get any more unless we take more cities with floodplains. Um, Fagal would still like to make a declaration of friendship. I don't see any reason not to. Sure, why not? And for some reason, the frame rate was really dropping on his leader screen. Doing that. No, it's stuff. Hmm. I'll have to check that. My, uh. All of a sudden, I hope that's not dropped. Yeah, I hope that's not coming through too much on the video. But, oh well. Alright, so I will propose cultural heritage sites with past and, uh, yes. embargo city states with not. Let's, um. Let's just have the world spare. Yay, the wads fair. <laughs> uh, yep. Now, we could probably buy a... Save the money for a factory. That's more important than... <laughs> no, I'm saying we could probably buy a great profit, but if we really want to uh, worry about converting... Oh, did he here. just convert... Oh, Iowa has been very um, ardent about converting the city states. I suspect he took papal primacy. Yeah, the frame rate is still dropping. I wonder. I changed some of the recording sessions since last time. For those of you watching Might this, not have been a good and idea. I hope, I hope that isn't having uh, a negative effect on the ability to things. I'll do some testing between this and the next episode and if it um, we'll see how it goes. He's paying full price for gold so I guess he doesn't hate you too much. The frame rate stuttering for him is gone so that's nice. He's a momentary thing. He's not technically paying full price since we have a declaration of friendship. He could, we could also, he would also offer a very small lump sum. Uh, this is standard speed, so we could probably get. No, so I'm saying he's not paying completely full price. Now the frame rate keeps. Hmm. Oh. I should stop talking about it. <laughs> I'm one of those weird people who doesn't know this frame rate stuff. Also, I'm screen sharing, so it's probably not showing for me. Yes. So, there we go. We have built the porcelain tower. Now you really want uh, research agreements. Yep. This is your, this is your, there's, you got your two big science wonders, you got the great library, and you have the porcelain tower. Well, no, wait, three. Hubble. But, yeah. yeah, but Hubble comes really late game. There's a very good w chance you can win or quit a game before then. Um... Well, you're not going to win a space race before Hubble, but... Well, yeah. But there's also diplomacy, cultural, and of course, beating the shit out of everyone. Now, I could, I, I should probably just go straight into the park, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish off the Grand Temple. Just so you have it. Yes. There, just about every ide ideology has extra ha happiness from... Yes. National wonders, anyway. So and now I can build. Now I can build the factory. There we go. And once once Rotterdam finishes, ah. 
which will be two turns before uh, we hit the modern era through uh, the discovery of electricity. Electricity is it's still two turns faster. No, so. no, electricity is still industrial. My mistake. Oh yeah, that's I, I was getting mis uh, mixing yeah, it up with radio. Radio is the one that's after the divide. The kind of arbitrary divide, but hey, it's a game. You gotta divide somewhere. Yes. Well, have you not upgraded your I mean, satellites? I just realized. <laughs> yeah, well, there's no point to it. We have no reason to. Not until you get dynamite. No, but we're not using them. There's no point in spending that money. There's so no point you, spending the money upgrading the units. We have no immediate enemies. Uh, no, you're very heavily going for culture victory. I'll pass on that. Thank you. But uh, we've got Washington and Catherine both following our religion. We might even be able to, with... Uh, um, once the rest of the world enters the industrial era and city-state votes start counting towards the World Congress, we might be able to... Hmm, Just start digging with people? We might actually be able to have enough votes to get world religion passed, which would... World religion Sikhism, which means Sikhism would spread faster and our holy city of Amsterdam would get a tourism boost. Which would be very we'll nice. Just, uh, your capital, and therefore it'll just you know, spew culture everywhere. Mm -hmm. Or tourism everywhere. Yeah. It, w it would be an extremely useful um, boost, but it's. Uh, it it's pisses, also one it of the hardest ones you can get to go it, through. It pisses off everybody who founded their own religion. Yeah, as I said, it's one of the hardest ones to go through if you don't already completely control the World Congress, and it's not yes. just your little uh, personal fight. Court. <laughs> yeah, but the it there is let's see now. Um, I'm not sure it's really high enough pop that I want to pull off the pull off. Uh, one. one university, yeah. I, I do want to maximize the amount of specialists we have working stuff, working like scientist stuff. I should lock these down. And there we go. Uh, radio for hitting the modern era. Now that's they interesting. They want to force you to vote for your own thing. Okay. Yes. No, but it, the interesting thing is I've never seen them ever offer to take that as payment for a research agreement. That is, yeah. I don't think... I will do absolutely do that. And they're well, yes, high wealthy. He's just vote for continuing the with the missionaries. He's just... Yeah, wow. I mean, get an AI who can just spam out missionaries like nothing else. No, but he, like the AI doesn't get faith bonuses. I wonder, what did he take that's giving him so many, like... I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Japan wants the decoration of these. Uh, well, the religion panel is up here. We can check that. I see no reason not to. Just because it's so confusing. I mean, he's got buddies with probably a lot of religious city-states, but... Mm, well, we've actually, we're actually two of them right now. We've got Vatican City and Wittenberg. And the third, like the the other two, are Jerusalem and Leventa, and Jerusalem's right there. I mean, the other two in the game are Jerusalem and Leventa. Let's see. He took Protestantism. Religion spreads to friendly city states of double rate. Well, that's by nothing. Use to the glory of God. You the Reformation belief. Use faith versus any type of great person. You really not to get any yeah, good job thing. with that fucker. When you've been spending it all on missionaries. He's got mosques or monasteries. Monasteries. He's got. Uh, yeah, he's got. I guess the uh, buildings. Plus and the Russian city of spaces. Plus one faith from wine and incense, and plus two gold for every city following their wine and incense? Eight. Yeah. So he doesn't really have. Well, he has 
Oh, uh, he has a lot of wine. Okay, one, yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, so he's getting plus... That is a lot of wine. Five. No, that's five. It's not you. you he's well, getting, it's enough to get a good start. I'm saying he's getting plus five faith from that. That's still a lot of wine. Yeah, but I'm saying he's not... It's not... I'm not sure where he's, like... Spamming his missionary. AI stuff. bonus? <laughs> I, I really don't think the AI gets bonus faith, though. Yeah, I don't know. Every now and then you just get one AI that spreads way more. Uh, okay. Anyways, we are the, we are the first ideology. person. Okay, so ideology, you choose them. You have autocracy, freedom, order, <coughs> fascism, democracy, and communism. You, um, They are adopted political ideologies. You, uh, the, uh, when you build either three factories or advance to the modern era, whichever comes first. And if you have full three factories, it's generally almost always faster. <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised. It depends a lot on coal availability and how yeah, good your if you have coal it's and <laughs> how good your economy is, because a lot of the time um, you'll end up taking into the into the modern era before your lesser cities can build the factories. Yeah, because they they often they'll be a lot slower to put them out in your capital, and sometimes you just can't get things going fast enough. But anyway, so as an incentive to sort of get there and choose um, interesting things, the first person to pick a particular ideology gets two free tenants. Uh, tenants are basically social policies. It's and a fancy word for social policy in the ideology tree. <laughs> the second person gets one, and so forth, and the third person, and everyone after that gets yeah. none. Bupkis. <laughs> yeah. Now, ideologies are a big, very interesting mechanic. They create um, social pressure. Um, if you have a lot of tourism uh, output, and it builds up with somebody that's following a different ideology, they'll take happiness penalties, and you can end up having a revolution to change ideologies and um, it makes the ideologies are the primary factor in um, late game alliances with the AI the the modifiers for uh, having the same or different ideologies is gigantic oh yes and we've already discussed this before we are very obviously taking freedom it's you have all the food, which means you're either going to be tall as can be, and which means they're going to get all the uh, specialists. Yes, we will just take this right now. Specialists consume all the food. Now you see here, it's worked out in, in a pyramid system. You have to take two policies in the, or two tenants. Sorry. But they're policies by a different name. Yeah, you have to take two of them in the tier in the level one to get one level two. You have to take two level twos to get one level three, etc., etc., etc. And I will take. Uh, <laughs> well, we're not worrying for happiness or anything, so we'll take the avant guard, the rate at which great people are born is increased. By you're already like building, or you're already spitting out more artists of various types than you can house, and you're going to make more. So and not only have we had, we've had 10 coal, we have three, All the aluminum? 11, uh, 19, 19 <laughs> aluminium. <laughs> All the tanks, all of them. Wait, no, we haven't seen oil. For, uh, that's late game tanks. Early tanks need oil. Yeah, but yeah, ideologies are Hiawatha basically... Hiawatha is busy trying to convert Washington away from... Us, but uh, the the pressure we have there is so huge. It's just so great. But yeah, anyways, ideologies are basically m uh, three massive competing uh, policy trees. The thing is, as you were saying earlier with the tourism, y you can uh, spread all your tourism to uh, to someone of a different I ideology to make them really unhappy. And if there's a lot of tourism going on from multiple sources... They can send them into negative uh, happiness until the point that the player is basically forced to switch ideologies. At which point they have lost every single uh, social policy purchase they have put in that tree. Yes. 
you you have to start over from scratch. You lose all the policies, and you don't get a refund on them. And nope. if you if you ignore that, if you ignore that you're not unhappy, that it's trying to trigger a revolution, you your cities will start flipping to someone else. The that, however, will I have seen that perhaps twice in all my time playing Civ Five. I have seen it maybe twice. It's it is incredibly rare because. First of all, players will generally like give up the game before then say you win, let's go do something more fun. No, night night the player the player will just simply accept a revolution before it gets to the point that cities will start to flip. And the AIs on the higher difficulties will have so much if happiness. They get such large happiness bonuses, they never get to the point that they have to worry about city flipping and will very occasionally end up undergoing a revolution. But they will generally also just like a player let the revolution happen rather than city flipping. So it's I I've seen it maybe twice and not in a few years now. So I play at lower difficulties and even then I never see it just because the AI gets so much happiness. They'll just I'm sorry, twenty two aluminium. Oh yeah, I was wondering if you're counting that one up there. Mm -hmm. AKA so. all of the aluminium. So. Now we could now that we have such was we could uh, enough for a pause. We could just keep buying in freedom, but I want to continue with rationalism here. Yeah, plus well, two. that's plus two percent. Uh, yeah, otherwise I would have gone for that because obviously the farther down you, uh, the, well, the higher level of a ideology policy you get, the stronger it is. So the tier two ones are actually really good, and the tier three ones are incredibly good. The the tier three ones I'm actually well they're supposed to be really good. Like for example, uh, freedoms one of uh, spending gold to buy spaceship parts I do not find very useful at all. You have yeah there's a you have to have spaceship been sitting your gold around for a long time. You it requires so much cash that I I find it. Um, you might buy one or two, and even then, it doesn't matter. You're almost you always price. buying buildings or units instead. It's almost never worth it. Buildings, units, city states. Yeah, it's I. Uh huh. And with that, I think it might be time for a break. Yes, with the modern. Yes, with the um. Well, I was going to. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw you off. I w sorry, no, I was going to I was going to break when we entered the modern era, and then they the this popped up, and that that would also make a good choice for a break. But all right, I guess uh, um, see you next time then. While we when we explain the World Council stuff some more. Yeah. All right. See you next.